My name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to do an effect with just four cards. A mystery card, two jokers, and the queen of spades. Let's take a look. Even we're going to play a game called Three Card Monty. So I'm just going to shuffle off the cards. The card I'm going to use is the Queen of Spades. But first, I want you to say the word stop anytime you like. Stop. Right there. Right there. This card, we're not even going to look at it, is going to be remain a mystery. That's going to be our mystery card. Right? Now, at this point, you can name any card you want in the deck, but not my Queen of Spades. That's the one I'm using. All right? Any card. Nine of clubs. Boy, that would be a good trick if that was the nine of clubs, would it not? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm just going to run through this deck and remove uh, the, the queen of spades, which is right here. So we're going to get rid of the queen of spades. And then I'm going to use the uh, jokers in this deck. Every deck's got two jokers here. So here is joker number one. I'm going to place that guy right there. I'm just going to give the cards a shuffle, and let's find Joker number two. It should be in this deck someplace. Ah, there it is. Joker number two. And that's all we're going to use. The rest of the deck, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to use these three cards and that mystery card right there. So I put the Queen of Spades so she is trapped in between those two Jokers. You watch that center card. Most, most people folks would even bet that that was the Queen of Spades. If they would, they would lose. Yeah, that Queen of Spades goes right there to the table. Now we're going to do this again. I'm just going to place the Queen right in between the other two jokers right there. You can see her sandwiched right in between our two jokers. Okay? Just to snap the fingers, the Queen of Spades floats up to the top. Literally going right through those two jokers. Now we'll go backwards. I'll put the Queen of Spades on top, and that Queen of Spades falls right through these two jokers. Now, this time around, we're not even going to use the Queen of Spades. We're just going to play Monty with this mystery card that's been sitting over here the whole time. Even, what do you think that mystery card is? Selected the nine of clubs. Nine of clubs. Turn it over. See what it is. It is. Oh, it's the money card again. What do we got over here? Ah, that's where your nine of clubs is. Hey, if you like the effect, give it a thumbs up. Now, I love Brother John Hammond's signed card. Here's a picture of Brother John right here. And over the years, I've published six different versions of his signed card effect. My first version was called The 76 Sandwich. It appeared in a book I wrote in 1993 called Las Vegas Cardma. Now, this particular version, I called it A Bigger Surprise, appeared in my 2004 lecture notes. Now, this routine was inspired by a routine uh, I saw on a John Gustafiro DVD. Uh, called Double Monty, and he said his routine was based on my 76 sandwich. Anyway, I modified John's routine to have a surprise ending, or at least I hope you found it a surprise ending. Hope you enjoyed the handling. And if you love non-gimmick card magic, just pure sleight of hand, make sure you click on that subscribe button right over there. And if you want to see my very first version called the 76 sandwich, make sure you click on that link right over there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.